Chapter 11, Learning Objective 3, Interpret a Statement of Cash Flows Quality of earnings is often measured by the significance of the accruals. Users have more confidence in the company's financial statements if there is a high correlation between cash provided by operations and net income. For example corporation, $80,000 net income compared to $70,000 net cash inflow from operations is a reasonably strong correlation between cash flows and income. Recall, we also observed that inventory increased by $450,000, which is significant and will tie up working capital. What about investing and financing activities? The investing activities section for example corporation identified that the company purchased a building and machinery totaling $1,070,000 this reporting period. These have been mainly financed by a long-term loan of $500,000 and the issuance of shares of $410,000. Since the financing has been close to 50-50 debt equity, these transactions will have less impact on the debt equity ratios. Additional inventory, building, and machinery will hopefully have a future positive impact for this company as it appears to be expanding, but it currently has a temporary adverse effect on the company. The overall impact of the operating, investing and financing activities has resulted in a net cash flows decrease of $123,000. Hopefully the cash position will improve as a result of expanding operations. Overall, either inadequate cash or too much cash are unproductive. Together, the income statement and the statement of cash flows will provide the best basis for determining the company's ability to generate funds from operations and thereby meet current obligations when they fall due, liquidity, pay dividends, meet recurring operating costs, survive adverse economic conditions, or expand operations with internally generated cash.